Hi everyone, today I'm going to review the latest and the most advanced dash cam. It is the Zenfox T3. Before I come back, please click the subscribe button if you haven't subscribed to my YouTube channel. I'll be back. Hi everyone, I'm really excited today because I have here the Zenfox T3 three channel dash cam. The cool thing about the Zenfox T3 model, it has the triple channel cameras which can record the front video feed, the back video feed, and also the cabin video feed separately, which is really cool, right? And also it has the QHD 1440p for the front facing camera and 1080p for the back uh, camera and the cabin camera. So you got a HD high definition quality for your video recording. If you drive Uber and luxury cars like the Jaguar, BMW, it is important for you to have a uh, dash cam to record things like you uh, heard news about uh, Asian hate, like Asian driver being assaulted, you know, like when they drive their Uber or Lyft car. And guess what? You have a proof when you want to show it to the cops. If you don't have a dash cam, you will not have proof, okay? The thing about when you drive a luxury car like the Jaguar or BMW M6 right there in my garage, you'll be a target once in a while by criminals because they think you have a lot of money, which is often is not true, right? But the thing is, when I drive my Jaguar XJR, guess what happened? Somebody tried to deliberately want me to hit the back of their car. The thing about uh, the pandemic right now, the situation is really bad. People need money and they'll do anything, you know? to get you to hit their car so they can claim their insurance money. But the thing is, if you have a dash cam to record all the incidents, they cannot lie to the police or to the judge. Uh, let's say somebody cut you off and deliberately want you to hit their you know, rear, because the thing is you'll be at fault if you don't have any proof, right? Because you're hitting them. But if you have a dash cam and you can record the whole thing on a camera, if they're deliberately trying to move into your lane or somebody, you know, like you see a lot of YouTube videos, people who try to claim insurance money you know they do all kinds of illegal stuff the thing is with this dash cam you will not be a victim of crime like that understand so anyway another thing that i love about this camera it has the sony image sensor which deliver really clear and crisp uh video hd quality and it has the super night vision so not only it records a daytime mode at night time it will also record a very clear uh, recording which is really cool and also the infrared interior camera so even though the interior of the car is dark it will record the incident in a clear uh, quality which is cool you need that especially if you drive uh, uber or lyft at night you need this kind of stuff let's say you are being assaulted by your passenger you have a proof to the police right look this passengers you know did this to me and then you can have the face and record the whole incident right so you don't have to describe to the police you just give the police the evidence here sir officer this is what happened which is really cool and it has the 2.4 gigahertz uh 5 gigahertz wi-fi connection which is super cool and gps logger which will mark the video that you record at exact location so you can tell to the cops to the judge or any law enforcement right hey on this date on this spot this is what happened this is the accident and this is you can tell the whole story you know because everything is recorded on this day on this road in this location this happened right so cool stuff and it has the parking mode which uh what do you call that uh will help you park you know it will beep if you're too close to some kind of obstacle which is really cool anyway uh let's unbox it i'll be back hi everyone let's unbox the camera it comes in a really nice box and all you need for this camera is a SD, a micro SD memory card. So I have it right here and I really like Samsung uh, micro SD card. It's a high quality SD card and the Zenfox um, dash cam can go up to 256 gigabyte uh, micro SD. So uh, I have 64 one because you know, the thing is um, you can go up to 260 uh, 56 um, gigabyte if you want to but anyway let's unbox it uh, just leave the box oh look at that isn't that cool i love it it looks so nice a manual 
which will uh, tell you, you know, on how to install stuff. Very important stuff. And an extended warranty card. It comes with, uh, let me see, 12 months to 12 months warranty. This is really important, the warranty. The thing is, if things uh, breaks, you can exchange it with a new one, right? So it's really important that your dash cam, it's covered by at least uh, 12 months to 18 months of warranty. Okay, uh, watch this one. Oh, look at this. Uh, look, Brenna. My daughter is here to help me. And this is the, I think the main camera right here. The main unit. Voila, look at that. Ooh. Ooh, ooh, look at that. It has a built-in LCD. I like this. Uh, the thing is, uh, with a lot of uh, dash cam, it doesn't have that built-in LCD uh, on it. With this one, you can actually see the feeds instead of going to your phone and you know trying to see what's going on. This one, you can see everything on the LCD. Really cool. It has the you know the rear connection here, the power, uh, you know, power source cable, and the power button right there, and the record. And you can turn the mic on and off right here. And this is where you're gonna put the micro SD uh, camera. This is the cabin camera. And this is the front-facing camera. It's gonna be mounted like that. So I think I'm gonna put it right here next to the Easy Pass. Anyway, cool stuff, man. And I'm gonna put it in the box until uh, we are ready to install it. And this is really, really cool. And the cool thing is about dash cam, the technology changes so much, you know. And this is like the latest one that. I'm really impressed. I'm really excited and I wanted to review this so bad. And look at this. This is the rear camera. It has the 3M, um, you know, stick, stickies. So you will be able to mount it securely in the back. So this is cool stuff. I'm going to put it back in the plastic here until we install it. So anyway, uh, let's, oh, what is going on here? Let's leave the box. Ta-da! Okay, a nice padding, important stuff. So you, you don't want your camera to break during shipping. Oh, look at this. Okay, this uh, is cam camera power source, which you can use to connect uh, this uh, front facing camera to the rear facing camera. And we're gonna uh, do it through the trim. Oh, look at this. It comes with power source cable that will connect to your, uh, you know, the cigarette slider car recharger right here cool stuff you need this because oh this is very important i love this this is very important this is a trim pusher where you can use to push the cable inside your trim this will make your life easier when you install the dash cam i'm so glad that uh zen fox includes the, uh, included this in the package because you need this okay trim pusher yeah, some dash cam doesn't come with this, which is unfortunate. This is very important uh, tool when you want to install dash cam. Uh, USB, uh, what do you call that? Cable for uh, downloading the video from the camera to your computer. And a lot of 3M uh, stickies for mounting the camera. And also you can, oh look at this, uh, micro SD adapter, you can put it here and then connected to your computer if you don't want to use the USB cable anyway let's go and do the installation I'll be back hi everyone uh, first of all you're gonna get uh, the mount and what you want to do is you want to do it like that this this uh, thing is gonna point upward so you're gonna put it like that and then you slide it up there and then you know make sure you find the perfect spot for you to mount the and you can ad look adjust this which is cool i've never seen this before i think this is awesome and you can remove this uh, uh what do you call that covering uh, covering here and make sure uh put the uh, micro sd memory right here on this side right here so it's gonna go like this i think not like that then you push there you go and it will click once you figure it out where you want to put it then we have to find a place make sure find a place where it'll be easier um, for you to 
Uh, what do you call that? Uh, I have I have to fit, uh, and this one is also adjustable. Look at that. See that? So I want to make sure. Let's say you drive Uber and you want to get a good view. A good of, angle. Yeah, yeah, a good angle of the passenger, right? So you want to put it somewhere in the middle, right here. And then we're gonna. Uh, yeah, this is actually a good. So you can right here so you can record what's going on behind you so you want to know exactly right so yeah it's really cool stuff you can adjust all this stuff so now that we commit to a to a placement now we're gonna i think i put it right right here in the middle so it won't really block my view um and also it will get the whole view of the car i think this is good enough yeah i like that That's, I, I like that placement i'm gonna go ahead and commit right here there you go perfect now once uh, it's mounted you can you know let's say you go to a store and you don't want the uh, desk cam to get stolen you can always you know remove it right and you can put it in your bag and bring it with you so you don't have to worry for the desk cam to get uh, stolen and then you Especially can, with one that nice like this. Yeah, with a nice one like this, you know. People look at it, oh, I'm gonna steal this one. Too. So be careful with that. And then uh, we're gonna go ahead and uh, install the back one. I'll be back. Hi everyone. My daughter and I, we just had a conversation. We finally committed this rear camera on this side because the thing is, we're gonna pull uh, the cable through uh, this trim right here we're gonna pull it from there from the top trim and we're gonna pull it here underneath and put uh, hide the excess cable right here so yeah we're gonna commit the rear camera right here uh, yeah I was thinking about here but then I realized uh, you know we're gonna go through the driver's side so we're gonna the cool thing about this you want to put it um, in the middle and also it's adjustable see that so you want to make sure you got a good view of everything I like to put it right here uh, so it will record everything and adjust it so yeah we decided to put it here so then we just again remove that 3m tape and we commit the placement right there there you go there then you just press it and you can adjust it this way you can get you know everything in the, in the middle from left center to right so it's very important to place it in the right place anyway uh, my daughter is gonna install the cable and I'll be back Hi everyone we're ready to install the power and with the Jaguar I have to uh, remove the center console uh, by removing this uh, bolt right here and I have to Take it out and then move the center console and make sure you disconnect the uh, sunroof cable and you know the light uh, switches and i'm gonna put it aside in, on a, in a safe place and make sure you uh, come here Bennett. Uh, make sure connect the usb power right here in the power port and then we're gonna uh, you know, push it through the trim right here yeah we're gonna go ahead and uh, make sure the cable is all you know it's not tangled before you do the installation to make your life easy yeah straighten it up and the cool thing about the power cable that uh, Zen Fox thought about is look at this voila so you can uh, recharge your phone while you know operating the dash cam this is really cool I never thought that uh, Zen Fox uh, would do this this is really cool so yeah you can close it open it so yeah i was like whoa that's really cool stuff i've never seen that before and yeah we're gonna go through uh the passenger side for the power so what we're gonna do connect the power here yeah every car is different uh with the jaguar xjr i have to do this i'm gonna secure this uh with uh uh cable velcro late, later on but in order to do this i'm gonna go ahead and you know we're gonna we're gonna go be um, behind this 
cable. See? That's why I have to remove it. I'm gonna go back like uh, like that. So we have uh, space. Do you see that? Uh, if you own a Jaguar XJ8, XJR, this is what you have to do uh, in order to do it. This is why I have to remove the trim. Uh, the, uh, no, not the trim, the center console uh, controller. So then you can go ahead and do it like that. So anyway, we're gonna go ahead and do it. I'll be back. Hi everyone, I just finished installing the power cable. It's actually a um, little bit difficult with the Jaguar since uh, we had to remove the center, you know, like this top console and then we put it in trim and I push it through that and to the side and to the bottom and finally down here. Uh, uh, before we even install the rear camera cable, let's check it out and see if it's gonna work. There's power right there. It has that blue power. So we want to go ahead and click the power button and activate it. Let's see if it's gonna get activated. Oh, there it is. There you go. And look at that. It's working and you see my face. <laughs> Do you see that? If you come closer, uh, bring it closer. Yeah, I, I see my face here the this camera is already recording the cabin i see my daughter and myself and you can see the front um, and then it start actually it's recording now do you see that i'm, I'm gonna click record it's, it's start recording yeah so it, it is working uh the front facing and the cabin so we're gonna go ahead and install uh the rear camera anyway i'll be back hi everyone wow the installation of uh, from level 1 to 10 it's around 7 to 8 so if you're not sure how to install the cable it's not hard it's just it takes time to push the cable from the rear to the front so yeah it is uh, a little bit uh, challenging so yeah and you need to organize uh, the cable a bit so it won't be like uh, all over the place uh, over the place so i'm gonna go ahead and put uh, some zip ties right here and then secure it so the cable won't be flailing around so other than that uh, let's check it out yeah i'm really excited and let's it's uh blue i'm gonna go ahead and turn it on i think it's on hold on it takes a while for ah there you go there you go and look at that check that out and now if you look closely this is the front view right here that's the how what do you call that the cabin view and that's the rear view it's recording uh, three different channels separately so you have uh, three different uh, videos in your memory card and you can use it as an evidence which is a cool thing this is why uh, I tell people um, because uh, it's part of my job long time ago to make sure people are safe and having a uh, DAS camp especially especially if you drive Uber, Lyft or you know any other uh, what do you call it delivery uh, business if you have delivery business it's, it's easy, uh, it is good to have a DAS camp uh, so when uh, accident happen or incident happen like like the you know the Asian hate right now it's like all over the place. It was a good thing when the Uber driver had that dash cam, so he had the the proof that the you know the passenger was attacking him and assaulting him, right? So it, it was very easy for him to go to the cop and show the picture of the offender and told the cop, "Hey, this person did this to me." So yeah, especially again, if you have a luxury car like this, it's like some bad guys will make you a target out there which is unfortunate but that's how that's how the world we live in right now it's very unfortunate a lot of people that are desperate for money and they would do desperate things you know so yeah to have this it will protect you uh, a, a, a great deal so yeah it's really neat it has the built-in uh, what do you call it lcd which i like and then uh, you can you know it's, it's, look at that it's, it's pretty clean installation easy it's not easy it, it took us uh 
at least 35 minutes to hide everything in the trim it's not perfect yet i'm gonna go ahead and fix it up later so anyway uh, make sure you uh, give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my youtube channel if you haven't subscribed uh, to my youtube channel again guys uh, this is the zen fox t3 uh three channel dash cam this is like the most advanced one so far that i i think is the best one that i've had so far so anyway I, I i'll put uh, the link where you can buy it in the description and in the comment section anyway love you guys bye